Well, if you take a daily medication, you know that sometimes mix-ups can happen, unfortunately. So you might miss a pill here or there or even just forget to take it and take the same medication twice, which would be a big problem. Yeah, that's the risk yeah. we're talking about. People who are using weight loss injectables are apparently getting confused as well. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has more on the accidental overdoses on the rise. The most common side effects we typically see with these injectables are nausea and vomiting. And if you inject too much of this medication, those side effects can be really exaggerated and intense. And they could also last for days. Weight loss injectables have become so popular. Poison control centers say they're seeing a jump in calls, about 3,000 across the U.S. alone last year, from people who've accidentally injected too much semaglutide, the active ingredient in the obesity drug Wagovi and the diabetes drug Ozempic. It's just a very uncomfortable feeling. Dr. Alicia Shelley, an obesity physician with the Wellstar Center for Best Health, says the overdoses are still pretty rare, but they can happen. Sometimes people want to give a little bit extra dose because they want to, you know, they want to rush the process. So I've had several patients who sometimes um, forget that they took their dose, and so they'll take an additional dose. And then they'll start to experience symptoms of overdose. And when that happens? They don't do it again. <laughs> their, their symptoms are very very, you know, it's just, it's uncomfortable. They're very nauseous. They feel unwell. Symptoms of a semaglutide overdose can include nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, dizziness, headache, and shaking. And because this is a weekly injectable, the symptoms can persist for up to seven days. There's no antidote once you overdose. It's more of <laughs> allowing the drug to wear off in your body. So we make sure they're drinking lots of water, they're staying hydrated, um, we're treating their nausea and vomiting if this were to occur. And if your symptoms worsen. Give your doctor a call. You can also call the poison control, your, your local poison control number. And if the symptoms are too severe, it's important to seek care, emergency care, and go to the emergency room. Dr. Shelley says overdoses seem to be more common with the compounded version of semaglutide, which patients draw up into a syringe themselves rather than with the pre-measured injectable pens. So it's important that, you know, if there's any question on what dose you should be on, that you contact your doctor contact the pharmacy and make sure that um, you're taking it correctly. And the idea with these medications is to inject yourself weekly. So Dr. Shelley says set aside a date and a time every week when you give yourself the injectable. So maybe it's a Saturday morning when you don't have a lot of other things going on. And she says give yourself the medication, write down the time and the date so that way you have a record of it. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin. All right, so how likely are you to try weight loss injections? No, too much uncertainty. No, it costs too much. Or yes, I'm diabetic. Yes, it's worth the risk. You can vote on the Fox 26 News app or on the Fox 26 Houston.com. I agree. It's just too much uncertainty right now. Most of you.